so once again, well, we had the first shoot, but it's the second shoot. But anyways, we were talking about like school and like how like over the years, like you know what I'm saying, the 13 to 18 years that you do that, you know, you're socially programmed and like you don't understand like the, the detrimental effects that like it can have to you. Definitely in today's age though, because I feel like at the end of the day, bro, they do those things for a reason. And we're not aware of the symptoms until we actually get a label for them. And by the time that happens, they're already years ahead of us, you feel me? So it's like they already, not only did they start it off doing it with an initiative, but they have seen the effects of the initiative into place. So you have to realize that's what you're up against at the end of the day, you feel me? So if you don't adjust to the social conditioning alone and you're, 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 not, you're gonna, you're gonna not be an outcast make, you know? not, you're gonna be an outcast if you just yeah, alone if you adjust die. to the yeah, social die, conditions of that shit but because nobody's gonna understand you or even like they're, they're not gonna if you don't understand some most people's reactions will be like oh, oh fuck that nigga definitely you know, like oh shit you know what I'm saying and like that, get the fuck away from me or you don't period, agree with yeah, me yeah. you know what I'm saying if you don't agree with somebody they automatically close their mind off to whatever you're saying yeah, that's so true. Because well, we're we're conditioned to be closed-minded, social. You feel me? At the end of the day, no, and it's just like when when people make certain choices to speak to only certain people when they walk past them. You know? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy because at the as every time we got down, go outside. You feel me? We have a social role for somebody that we see based on how they look you feel me and we we see everything with our eyes you feel me? we don't see everything with our whole being and what we know we just use our eyes alone we don't connect it to the rest of ourselves you feel me yeah. so it's like when we when and we they make sure we can't bro yeah. because like that's why they do everything that they do and you know the people that don't understand it will understand but like you know stuff like gmos and like it doesn't matter if it's true or not like they're they are putting shit up in the air and yeah. you know like just all of that is fucking people up and they don't understand that you know so what people do is you know they don't even care yeah they do it blatantly in your face they're killing you blatantly and you're just accepting it just because everybody else is yeah they used the they used the they basically use the theory of relativity you feel I me mean, once the, if something is in effect and you see everything around you electromagnetically doing this and they're they're buzzing towards this you're naturally going to have to feel uh, attraction to do that you feel me magnetically and they they know these things they use science and they all right so one of the main ways that they well wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna cut that shit you can keep it going all right step one in the process of somebody bringing brainwash is to surround their environment with nothing but repetitive notions and repetitive energies and repetitive propaganda and to make them comfortable with something because your environment is very important to what you do. So in reality what schools are are programming centers. They're place where the kids can go and be watched at them, you know, they're like a place where they're supposed to go and become one of the environment. So, <clears throat> if you act up in school, right, you are told to stay at home and you're told to not use any of your uh, treats like your cell phone, your game, you don't get, you know, good food at night or whatever, you know, the fucking punishment is. But what we call that is punishment, you feel me? But they want you to sit in your room and they want you to be alone with yourself because that's a form of meditation right there. But you see it as, they call it punishment, so you see it as a bad thing. But really, what they want you to do is sit in your room, listen to yourself, and ask yourself, what's really going on, you feel me? Like, and ask yourself, do you want to be a better person, and so on and so on. They want you to focus on doing all that. So... By the end of this 12 years of repetitive notions and repetitive 
propaganda every fucking day. You go to school, every subject is named something, and it, that subject has, like, different names under it, and then they got different, like, it's crazy, man, like, when it's, life is simple, you feel me, nature is so simple, and we have, so we have to start looking at things the way they are, we can't keep, you know, just referring to the old resources that we have, like, oh yeah, we used to do this, this, that, I mean, like, we used to do this that way, and we used to do that this way, like, at the end of the day, you know, we have to, like, throw away the old stuff that we don't need and just move on to the future, and say things like it is, so at these programming centers, we feel me, where you're taught to do these things all the time, and we have to realize that these programming centers are not a good thing, they're lies, everything is lies, you know, so when you realize that over time, with through research and many years of focusing on yourself and going within yourself, you understand that school was the first thing that you had to get, the first trash you had to get rid of in life. No matter who you are, you have to realize that school was not something that was actually useful for you, you feel me? For you to actually become successful in real life. And when you realize that, that's when you actually start going out there and hustling in the world, you feel me? And it's crazy because when you put so much focus and so much attention towards your programming center, and people are starting to realize that this is a waste of time, and they're talking about how there's a high dropout rate, and they don't understand that. They think it's because um, people just are like stupid and people like can't understand the curriculum. It's because the curriculum is alive most of the time. You feel me? And we, how can we blame these kids? How can we blame each other for not believing in the book? You feel me? And it's like we gotta start making other solutions for that. So step one is what they do is they program your environment, and when they program your environment, you go to these programming centers, and it's like that's two forms of conditioning right there. You don't get to use your free mind at all. You just go into places that are literally teaching you things about how to live your life when you can't go out there and learn it yourself. You feel me? Get it, get a feel for it yourself. So it's like you're literally hyping up yourself for 12 years to get to one point. You feel me? When you, when the whole time you could have been doing the shit that you could have, that you started to do at 18, your whole life already, you feel me? You could have lived your, your whole life by then already. So, in reality, it's like, that, that, it's like, what is that there for, you feel me? And we already know what it's there for nowadays. If you're really intelligent, you already doing research, you already know that it's there to distract you, and it's there to basically try to attach you towards this very twisted capitalistic society that is controlled by very few men and very few corporations that spread their wealth with other families by choice and they want you to they pay for your school books they pay for your colleges funds they they they're the people who donate to all your favorite events these mcdonald's you see you see the signs whatever event you go to you see it on poster, you see a, a fast food restaurant, or you see something that's like a corporation that you never heard of, it's because these people are the people who are funding your things, you feel me, and they're funding select things, and they're teaching your kids select things that they think are right, you feel me, they're not teaching kids, they're not taking people's opinions anymore as to what what is natural teaching and what their kids should learn, they're just putting upon themselves to fund people, and that's how they're affecting you. Feel me? They control what books your kids read, no matter what school you go to. And it's the curriculum in the society, no matter what society you go to, that's going to control that. And ours is controlled by capitalism. And once you have a, a, a settled, once capitalism is settled after the Big Bang, after it starts off, you have a very dead, cold state because you're going to end up having an aristocracy, which is basically when rich people control everything. And they're trying to make us think that it's something else. So the whole time you're in school, that's what you're learning. You're learning that what you're naturally thinking, going against reality, or going against all the things that you're taught is reality inside this matrix, it literally is just there to drill your mind the whole time that it's not what you think it is. It's basically just a, like a spaghetti soup of random stuff that you should know. You don't get your mom and dad 
not to work. You don't get uh, food, natural food on your table because, you know, they at work all the time. You don't get uh, real love. You don't get real association with true life. You don't have no connection to Mother Nature at all. You just live inside these boxes and you sit on a box, you lay on a box, you watch a box all day, you carry a box in your pocket. It's, this is really a situation of you're stuck in a box. So, um, it's not good. Once you realize you're inside of that box, you have to like go to the next step. And step two is. Oh. All right. So step two, once you understand that you're in that box, as my brother said before, you'll learn that you have to understand what put you in that box in the first place and all types of different dynamics and aspects. And you can't fight your way out either because that's just an illusion. What you have to do is break down those fears and illusions within yourself. See, it runs deep to even of when you you know, fight and argue about certain things when you know you're wrong or when you're lying or any type of deal that you do just for greed. Once you understand that, then you understand that. Hold on, cut the video, bro. It's a good ball, man. And I see you keep it clean. You like cleaning, huh? When you when you understand that you have to actually have to see everything that you're doing and learn how to release that because if you if you can't release that then you're gonna be stuck trying to do the same thing over and over again feeling the same pain that you wish to alleviate and so that's the difference between when you take psychedelics and things like DMT to actually expand your mind and when you drink and smoke and do all of the things and then the worst part is when you start denying it so. As I said before, nobody is exempt to that because everybody does that in different aspects, even if it's the tiniest amount or it's the biggest amount, down to your food, down to your decisions, down to your greed or what you want out of life. Like, I ask people questions like that, like, you know, what do you dream of? You know, people tell me, oh, well, I just want to be stable or I just want to survive. I mean, everybody wants to do that. But like, you know what I'm saying, it's when you make up in the mind of, oh, I want to I wanna make sure everybody can thrive. Or like, you know what I'm saying, why don't you, why, why do you have such a low look at what you could do or could be? And it's simple, it's because you're institutionalized. And for those that get mad and say, oh, this dude's a, a asshole or a know-it-all, no, I'm saying the exact opposite. Nobody knows shit of what's really real because all you've been fed is lies. And you can't even see past that first barrier, so of course you're gonna think what I'm saying is fucking insane. And I mean, just like there's thousands of other people saying this in different ways, you just need to understand that. And step two is, like I said, understand that. Understand what puts you in the box. Because only then will you be able to break free of it, you know what I mean? Some of this goddamn no air pressure. Maybe that'll help. Make this shit smell better. What the? <coughs> so, attached to that is a very deep uh, question related to will, also. And it's related to like what your focus on in life is. Yeah. And what's uh, influencing your focus in life? That's the thing above what your focus in life is, which is connected to your next chakra, which is your heart chakra. But right now, you're stuck right here in your solar plexus. And it's connected to what's like motivating you. You feel me? If you're motivated and if you're getting enough 
uh, truth in your life, honestly enough, love, and it's going to teach you good things, but if not, it's going to show you the bad way of getting things, you feel me, so you're going to get things no matter what, but either way, you control what you're getting, so once you understand that, you understand that you have different, so many different ways of influencing people nowadays, you can get it through media, <coughs> books, uh, drugs, Food, music, music, any type of art form, poison, paintings, pictures, uh, pictures, yeah, colors, shit, what else? Sounds, Clothes. thoughts, oh. nature, water, uh, anything you can think of. So these people, you you praise the sun, the sky, all these things. So once you understand that there are so many influences that you can choose from in nature, and the ones that you naturally draw to you are the, and your youth are the ones that you're naturally supposed to question. That's what we, in our youth we're taught that uh, you are supposed to you're supposed to live free and wild. But really, that's when you're most connected to your original state and your, your original you know, wake up call, yeah. and it's like, and you know the most then, you feel me, and ever since you're here, you've just been taught a whole bunch of crazy shit, Useless so, it's like, plus that's not even adding on to like the religion, you know what I mean, because when you start talking about religion, that's when it gets controversial, because then you can't even have a conversation with anybody, even if they... No matter if you if you're a closed minded person, then you know what I'm saying and you you can have strong faith and still have an open mind. But if when somebody asks you about your faith and they have a conversation about theirs, and your automatic regard is you know, oh well, um, I can't be your friend or I can't accept you or I'm gonna judge you or you're going to hell or it could be multiple things when most of these things cause wars suffering killing in the past hanging people beating people beating it into people and what are the positives of this though my brother what do you think the positives of religion are because there are some you feel me so can you I please mean, name it's, these it's, it's, i mean it's easy right it's a great story to show you how you're supposed to be but you know you should really be careful with the words that you adhere to so like I said it's a great story to live by yes. and I mean it could also be I mean I've heard stories where you know these people believe in God so much in which I mean they believe it's real it's, it, it, it is there you know and it's like you can't tell somebody that and if, you know everybody has their own opinion and things like that but at the end of the day you feel me? They can actually get to a point where they've healed themselves of quote unquote cancer, which is by you know praying and all this stuff. You feel me? And it actually does happen. You feel me? Yeah. It's like so there is something attached to that. So there must be something inside of the art that they're doing. But what is the exact response that the person who created this is intending to do? You feel me? Yeah. That's the main question. I see. And that's what we not. That's what we have to understand in step two. And if you get that, if you get to that point, step two, you will be transitioning to step three. But it's really important for you to understand what you, where you get your uh, will and where you get your attraction and where you get your um, research yourself energies of the solar plexus overall. From. And it's very important that. You understand that no matter what religion you believe in, that these are just con combinations of the same energy being told in the same story of words in different languages. Okay? Different language. That's, that's it. It's the same image. Okay? The same image, bro. Just a different language. You can't hate somebody because of a different language. See, that's the main thing, you know, that's not even getting into how how much is, it's ridiculous to even consider that there's a different race besides human. I mean, even if you wanted to start having a color scheme, that should be some type of playful 
child game with cultures and like whole countries, but instead we took it left. We went completely left with that and started seeing that that was supposed to differentiate people. True. You're right, bro. So now at this point, <laughs> that that's so that's, that's ruined everything too because that that hold that holds a whole another calculation when you're completely raised in an environment with only one single race and that race telling you exactly its history but no other race's history its race's progression but no other race's progression and they definitely don't tell you about the bad things that they did to get what they needed so true and it's a mystery at that point and that leaves us in disarray but that's important to step through so 